I am super excited for today. I am at Blue Spring State Park. I stopped off on the way back to Savannah from Orlando. And today there's a record setting 932 manatees at the spring. As you can see, the trees cast a shadow over the water in this location, making it a little hard to see the manatees. As the sun comes up throughout the day, those shadows will go away and you'll be able to see the vibrant waters. Let's go down further and see if we can find another location where we can see a larger group of manatees. As we look off into the shadows of the water, we can see another group of manatees here. It looks like right there in the front, you can see a manatee with her calf swimming. The water here is just absolutely beautiful. I definitely want to come back here in the summer. During the summer months, you can do snorkeling, kayaking, tubing, and they allow you to go in and swim with the manatees that are still in the spring. Let's continue our journey down and see how many more manatee we can find. I'm not too sure what's going on here. I think just a manatee jumped out of water and caused a little commotion that the other ones started to swim away. Uh, the people next to me thought they seen an alligator jump in the water. Maybe, I don't know, I didn't see it, but it definitely raised some commotion. Oh look at the manatee coming up close here. Doesn't it just make you want to jump in the water and swim with them? I'd love to hear your comments down below. Have you ever swam with the manatees before? I'd really love to hear your experience if you have. Post down in the comments and let me know what the experience was like. As we make our way along the Blue Spring Trail, on our way to the Spring Head, you will find several signs posted up with great information regarding the springs in Florida, the Blue Spring Trail, the Blue Spring that we're currently at, and the manatees. As you enter the Blue Spring Trail, the sign at the beginning says it's a 10 minute walk to get to the spring head. It doesn't feel like 10 minutes when you're walking it, and I guess that all depends on how fast or slow you walk, but it's a beautiful scenic trail as you can look out over the water. Several locations you'll be able to see manatee as you're walking along here, and then other wildlife will be present as well. As we approach the viewing area of the spring head, you can see it's a very busy area. So let's look around and see where we can get some great video footage without inconveniencing any of the other guests here.
The water here is just absolutely stunning. Who'd like to jump in and take a swim? I know I would. As the sun rises and the shadows go away, you can see just how crystal clear and beautiful this water is. It makes it a lot easier to see the manatees as well. As you see, there are several locations to watch the manatee from, so there's always a great spot that you can view them. The water in the spring is 72 degrees year round which is why the manatee come here in the cold winter months as the water gets frigid they need to stay in the warmer water but you can definitely see they love to be in the sun as well. I'm just amazed at how many manatee are here in the spring today. I definitely picked a great day to come. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this. I've seen manatees before at aquariums. Uh, Disney's got manatees. But this is just... Words can't even describe the feelings that you have when you see this in nature.
I had a phenomenal time today. I hope you did as well. I loved seeing all the manatees. The water is beautiful. The park is beautiful. This is definitely a, a must go to place. You have to see this in person. The video is not gonna do it justice. Um, let me know in the comments what you thought.